Hello Camp Wemo. I hope you've had a good second day of camp at home. Tonight I'm going to be leading us through evening prayer, so just grab your prayer book, turn it to page 115, and we'll get started here in a minute. Just prepare your hearts for worship and think about what you did today and how it's ended the day now. So quiet your minds and we'll get started. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Yours is the day, O oh God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Dear friends in Christ, here in the presence of Almighty God, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins so that we, we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through Jesus, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. All right, the psalm today is Psalm 17, I believe, one through seven. We'll read it together. Hear my plea of innocence, O Lord. Give heed to my cry. Listen to my prayer, which does not come from lying lips. Let my vindication come forth from your presence. Let your eyes be fixed on justice. Weigh my heart, summon me by night. Melt me down, you will find no impurity in me. I give no offense with my mouth as others do. I have heeded the words of your lips. My footsteps hold fast to the ways of your law. In your paths my feet shall not, be, shall not stumble. I call upon you, O God, for you will answer me. Incline your ear to me and hear my words. Show me your marvelous loving kindness, O Savior of those who take refuge at your right hand from those who rise up against them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading from Luke chapter 11, verse 1. Once Jesus was in a certain place praying. As he finished, one of his disciples came to him and said, Lord, teach us to pray. But as John taught his disciples, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Luke chapter 24, verses 30 to 31. As they sat down to eat, he took the bread and blessed it. 
Then he broke it and gave it to them. Suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him. And at that moment he disappeared. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, together we will do the song of Simeon. Lord, he now has set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations in the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord God, whose Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, triumphed over the powers of death and prepared for us our place in the new Jerusalem, grant that we who have this day given thanks for his resurrection may praise you in that city of which he is the light, and where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. O God and Father of all, whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you. All the nations obey you. All tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I now invite you to offer any thanksgivings. Thank you for everybody who is helping and participating in Camp at Home. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son 
that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you guys for following along with me and participating in evening prayer. I hope it was a nice time for some reflection of your day and just a nice way to end the day. Um, I hope to see you guys all participating in everything we have going on for you. And I wish the best for the rest of the week. Thanks, guys.